Okay, everyone, you can all see the screen, I hope. So we're going to be forming verbs in this session. Um, I'm hoping you all know what a verb is. So that is a doing word. Um, but first, before we get into that, we need to know what a prefix is, what a suffix is, and a root or a base word. Um, who can send me in chat the definition of a prefix? Where does that come in the word? What do you think? Yes, thank you, Poppy. So the prefix comes before the main word. The prefix changes the definition of the word sometimes. So if you add un or im, so guys, we've got the before part, so don't repeat the answers, remember? Um, so if you add un, im, in, um, pre is a prefix as well, then all of those can change the meaning of the word in some way. Suffix, the opposite of a prefix, and that comes at the end. Pre, by the way, means before, and suffix comes from sub, which kind of means afterwards or less important, so that comes at the end. Um, so suffixes can also change the meanings of words. Ing and ed would be suffixes. Abel would be another suffix So you could have. And then a root or a base word. Um, if I have the word um, act, reaction, let's say, what is the root or base word of that word? You've got the word that you start with. Yep, yeah, Undine, so act is the root there. So react is not the root word, the root, because re is the prefix. So re is the prefix, and act is our root word. So the di difference between a root word and a base word is a base word can be a word all on its own. So in this case, act can be used on its own, whereas a root word has to go with some other like a prefix or suffix in order to make sense. But if we understand the meanings of some of the common root words, suffixes and prefixes, then it helps us to decode new words that maybe we haven't heard before. Okay, so these words are verbs. Um, we've got dampen, moisten, sharpen, redden and hasten. What's the suffix of that first line of words here? Okay, yep, so our suffix is n. Okay, so we've added n to these roots. Um, does anyone know what hasten means? I've discussed it with a couple of the of my groups recently. To hasten to do something. So your base word there is haste. If you do something in haste, what does that mean? Yes, Manon, when you're in a hurry. So to hasten to do something is to rush, to hurry to do it. And then damp and moisten there to do with just making something slightly wet. Um, and then redden, I don't know if you've heard that word before, but what would be the root word, the base word for redden? Red, yes, good. Um, so to redden something, when you add the N suffix, it just means to make something more red. So to dampen is to make something more damp, moisten is to make it more moist, and so on. Um, can anyone think of any other words that end with N? It's a little hard when you're under pressure. What words can you think of? Fasten, thank you as well. Oh gosh, we've got lots coming up. Um, fasten, harden, darken, good. Um, what else? Um, some people are giving us some words that end with N, like green, but it's not used as a suffix in that case. So that one wouldn't count as forming a verb um, from the suffix redden, um, so from the suffix N. Um, what else have we got? Badden, yes. So you need double T there. Um, and I had lighten and darken on my list of other examples as well. But even more brighten, good, I haven't thought of that one. Soften, um, loosen, good. Um, garden again is another one where it does end with N, but we haven't made guard into a verb by adding the suffix, so it doesn't quite count. Um, madden as well, perfect, all right. Um, let's look at the next list of words. These are a little trickier. 
word that perhaps you haven't heard before. So, whoopsie, get my highlighter. Um, so purify. Can you um, give me the root words for these, please? Base words. Some of them are roots, some of them are base words. Um, okay, so the root word, root of purify would be, he's got it, yep, yeah, pure, well done. Falsify, what's our root? False, thank you, Hannah. Um, unify, so that one has a root word rather than a base word. Um, yes, yeah, so uni, um, does anyone know what the root uni means? So we hear it in words like unite, um, uniform. Yes, well done, okay, I saw your answer there. First, um, so uni means one. Um, so if you unify something, the if I suffix means that we're making it that thing. So if we purify something, we make it pure. If we falsify something, we'll come back to that one, we make it false. And if we unify, if uni means one, what do you think unify could mean? How can you make it one? Oh, in silo? Hang on, I uh, remember we're not supposed to unmute. Um, I didn't understand that actually, I'm afraid, but can you type it in the um, chat? Yes, I'm doing so you've got to bring it together, yes. Um, it means one of something. Guys, please don't unmute yourselves. Remember the rules. So, um, uni means one, and if you unify people, then you bring them together. So you might have um, people that are arguing or something, and then you might do some sort of activity to unify everyone, bring them um, so that they are as one. Falsify, um, what could that mean? Can you, if you want to give the definition of falsify, could you use the hand up function in Zoom, and then Kai can unmute you. Um, if you've got the answer there. So falsify comes from the root word false. Man, and you're close saying it's to do something wrong and yet to make something false. Okay, um, so to falsify, it's to make a false or a fake version of something. Um, so you might, if you falsified some documents, which would usually be illegal, um, if you falsify documents, then you have made a fake version of them. Um, okay, stupefy. Has anyone figured out what the um, the root of that would be? Yes, it would come from stupid. Um, the meaning of stupefy is to be um, shocked by something. Um, so you're almost rendered stupid because you have nothing to say, you can't react. Um, so you've just got to kind of blank or shocked expression. Um, so, so if something happens that's really uh, surprising, then you might describe them as stupefied. Okay, mummify, root word please. And once we've had someone giving the root word, please don't keep typing it. Okay, we've got it, stop typing. Yes, mummy. Um, but what kind of mummy are they referring to here? Do they mean like your mum and dad? Um, who said to wrap a mummy in bandages? Good. Um, I think Ricky it says there. So to mummify something is to make it into a mummy. So like the ancient Egyptians did, you embalm the body and wrap it and make a mummy out of it. So that's the process of mummifying. Okay, we're going to go on to our first activity which is matching these roots with their suffixes. So can you please, um, let's do this on the quiz, it, those of you that have it up, and match up the root words with their suffixes. Be careful with some of the spellings because some of the words need phi at the end and some of them need ify. So just be careful about what you're doing there. And if someone's doing this at home with the sheets, then you can just do it on the worksheet. Okay, so go to WooClap please and start filling in the answers on there. Okay, I think some of you, it's marking it as wrong because you haven't mixed, matched up the exact combination that it wanted. Um, but I will base, I'll have a look at your final answers. Yes, so we've got your answers in there. Some of you have been doing this before I told you to. This is why 
I don't put the quizzes up on time. So please, please hold off on doing the quizzes until I say. Okay, just give you a couple of minutes there. So to match up the words and then write them down. Okay. Um, Kai, could you just get back to the kids that are um, not sure what to do when they don't have the quiz here? Okay, so I'm going to start matching these up on the board. So you should have satisfy, simplify. Guys, you don't need to tell us all when you're done, thanks. Okay, beautify. Weaken, loosen, we've crossed off the E there because we don't need double E, solidify, terrify, and harden. Okay? Yeah, so guys, you've got to remember to listen to the instructions here because I've already told you to make a start on the quiz. Okay, are people writing in their words at the end there? So the correct answers are on the board. Okay, good. So satisfy, simplify, beautify, weaken, loosen, solidify, terrify, and harden. Those are our first lot of words. Okay, I'll just give you mm, 30 more seconds to fill those in. And then we're done. Manan, stop sending unnecessary messages in the chat, please. That was the, one of the first rules. Okay. Um, yeah, Poppy, you can write the new words that you have. Okay. So, so you've worked through the quiz, you've matched up the roots, and then... <coughs> Okay, we are going to have to move on. Um, remember to make sure that you are muted, everybody. And we're going to go on to the second task on your sheets. Okay, so you should have activity two definitions. You're going to have to concentrate really hard on this because I have added some more that I'm going to put on the screen and you will miss them if you're not concentrating. Okay, so you should have your sheet that starts like this, please. Okay. And then Kai can respond privately if you have questions. If you have questions that aren't answers to the questions, please send them just to Kai rather than sending them to the whole group because not everyone needs to see your answers, your questions. Okay, what is the meaning of pacify? So we have clues here. The word pacify comes from the root, from a root meaning peace. And the American word for a child's dummy is a pacifier. So let's think about when you use, the, use a pacifier for, or a dummy for a child. Why do parents give a pacifier to a child? Guys, we know it's a baby's dummy, it's written on the screen, but what, does, what do you do with that? Yes, to quiet them, to calm them. Good. Um, so that may help you in future when you need to remember the word pacify, yes, so to stop them crying. So pacify means, and I want you to write this down, so to bring peace and tranquility. Okay, so a pacifier is supposed to bring peace and tranquility is calm. So you want someone to calm down, to stop crying, to be happy. Okay, so pacify to bring peace and tranquility. Can you please write that on your sheets? If you don't have a sheet, then please um, just write it on a piece of paper. Pacifiers on the screen and on your sheets. And tranquility can apparently be spelt with either one or two S's, but we will go with two for today. To bring peace and tranquility. So writing these definitions down, please, next to the right words. Okay. Give me a second. All right, what is the meaning of petrify? 
So the word comes from the Greek root Petra, meaning rock. And the second clue is um, good Isla um, to scare. So the second clue is the Petrificus Totella spell in Harry Potter is also known as the body binding spell. Um, I, oh, I didn't put my pictures in here from Harry Potter. If you Google, if you look up Petrificus Totalis on YouTube, not now, but if you look that up, then you will see that Hermione casts a spell and then once it's never long bottom goes stiff like a stone and then falls over. So um, it, you're, it means to be scared, to be very, very scared, but it comes from the idea that, because it's Petra meaning rock, means you're so scared you turn to rock. So yes, Tom, that would be a good way of putting it. Scared stiff. Okay, guys, remember, don't just start typing words in the chat because it's going to distract people. Just answers, please. You need to behave nicely because otherwise we're going to have to stop you from typing. Okay, so definition of petrify is to change into stone. To change into stone is one definition so write that down and then number two to paralyze with fear or astonishment and do people know what paralyze means so to be paralyzed you can't move any part of your body so usually it's not literal when you're petrified or something you aren't you aren't literally frozen to the spot but you might be yes to paralyze with fear or astonishment. Make sure you've written that down somewhere, please. Okay. What is the meaning of modify? Okay, anyone know? And some, you shouldn't have finished the sheet before this class, so you're going to have to just sit there and make the corrections if you need to. Okay. To change. Yes, good. I wasn't sure if anyone would know that. So um, modify, you can write down to change something, amend or alter. So if you already knew that it meant to change, then please make sure you've written to amend or alter as well, so you know some other synonyms. So I've sort of written to change something. Amend or alter. Um, we've got to remedy. I wouldn't say it's necessarily remedy. It could be. It could be an improvement, but generally it's just changing it. Um, you could also make modifications to a car, to a bike, something like that. Okay. Um, rectify. So this word comes from the Latin rectus meaning right. So what does it mean if if I if if I means to make something then what does it mean? Yes, Tanya good um and some of you had that already. Yes, so Thomas, Olivia, well done. So to correct something. So rectify is to make something right to correct it. Good. Make sure you've written that down and make sure you've spelt right with an R, no W. We only have um, that spelling with a W at the front when it's a surname. Okay. To clarify, what do you think? So the root word is clear. So, yep, good. Um, Mina, it says there, um, or that might be Maisha um, from your mum's account. So to clarify is to make something clear. Um, you can put to make something clear or intelligible would be another word for that. So intelligible means that um, it can be understood. Um, my answer, not to make something clear for the king, just to make something clear for everyone. Okay. All right. So to make something clear or intelligible, please make sure that you've got down intelligible and from earlier, you should have amend or alter. So you can learn some other synonyms. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Um, verify. The word comes from the Latin root verus, meaning true. So if you verify something, good, Andina, to check. 
Okay. So to verify is to check whether something is true. Please write that down. To check whether something is true. Okay. Oh, yes, sorry, Moffat, you've reminded me. Um, so these last two words were not on your original sheet, so you're going to have to add verify to the bottom along with the definition. Okay. Guys, no point saying same because I've just explained. It's not on any of your sheets. You have to write it at the end. Okay. So write verify to check whether something is true. Guys, close your chat, please, unless you're sending a message to me. And if you are sending a message to me, um, please, can you send it to Kai directly rather than sending it to everyone? Because I think you're, um, some of you are distracting other people. And please be considerate about distracting other people. Okay? We don't need every thought to go in the chat box. Okay. What is the meaning of justify? So if something is just, it is fair and reasonable. So the word justice relates to that as well. Okay. So to justify something, just means fair and reasonable, and if I means to make it something. So what could justify mean? Isabel Good, explaining why you did something. Um, to make it fair, it's not to make it fair, though I can see why you, um, would say that it's more to make it sat, make it seem fair. So if you um, if you did something and someone said, I'm not sure whether you should have done that, you might justify your actions by explaining why you did something. Um, someone sometimes people will say, don't try and justify your actions. It's not justifiable. Um, so if it's just definitely wrong, but if you're giving an explanation as to why you did something, then you are trying to justify it. So can you write down to show that something is fair or right? So to show that something is fair or right. Make sure you've got that written down with justify. Yeah, good. So we've got the definition now. I've told you the answers. So no typing in the chat button, chat box. You can just write it down. Okay, to show that something is fair or right. Okay, once you've got all of those down, it's time for our next quiz. Let me make it visible. I didn't want you to do it too early. Okay, so if you go onto WooClap now, there should be a second quiz, activity two, definitions. If you can't see it, please refresh your screens. Okay, so please start your quizzes in there. Okay, if you've pressed the wrong answers, then you're just gonna to have to continue and know that you needed to correct it. Okay, got a few more of you that need to submit your answers. If you've done the quiz, um, try not to look at your sheet of paper. I'm just going to quiz you on a couple of words. So, um, what does rectify mean? Does someone want to type that to me? It, only if you finish the quiz. Um, no, Grace, it's the activity two quiz. So, yep, yeah, to rectify means to correct something. Um, Olivia, you wrote to alter. There was another word that was a better synonym for altering something. What was that? To alter something, which word ending with if I was a synonym of to alter? Good to modify, there we go. So to modify is to alter something. Um, to rectify is to correct it. Um, what about pacify? What did that mean? So remember, um, a dummy is called a pacifier. Good, Undina, to calm someone. Good. Um, clarify. What's our root or a base word for clarify? Good, time are clear. Yeah, well done. Um, I, I'm seeing a parent's name here and I can't remember. Surname is Fish. Yes, I've got yours to make it clear. Sorry, I couldn't, couldn't remember your 
name from the parent's name. Um, okay, good, pretty much everyone's in there. A few of you don't have your names in there, so please check whether you do. If you've just submitted your answers, then none of the ones that just submitted their answers have their names in there. Um, so please go into your settings and check that your name is coming up. Okay guys, we're gonna move on in just a second. All right, I am going to make the next quiz available. So this is what we call a closed test, where you put in, you fill the missing words into the sentences. Um, let's, I think it's probably easiest if you do it on your sheet, if you have a sheet. If not, you can just do it straight into the quiz. Um, so write the answers into your sheet. You might want to look at all of the answers together before putting your final answers in, and then you can submit your answers in the quiz, the activity three closed test. So can you please do activity three closed test on your sheets? Okay. Activity three. Oh, and just guys, don't move off, please. I can hear someone there. Okay. Um, Anticlimactic. Oh, can you please correct um, the spelling on your sheet? I'm afraid I um, hyphenated anticlimactic and then realized that it shouldn't be hyphenated. So one word, you can just cross out that hyphen that's on your sheet for number eight. Can anyone tell me what anticlimactic means? My screenshot stopped sharing, so bear with me. Anyone know what anticlimactic means? Um, one sec. Kai, could you read the answers to, an answer to me if someone's answered it just while I'm busy doing this? Um, so, is what going down, you're close. Um, so, Manon, you're thinking of climate rather than a climax. So, this comes from climax rather than climate, but nice try. Um, so to make it less dramatic, yeah, you're along the right lines, guys. Um, so the climax of something is supposed to be like the ending, the point that it all builds up to. So um, those of you that play a musical instrument, you might be familiar with the word crescendo. So we expect crescendo is when something like builds and gets louder and um, there's like a loud ending. Um, so the climax, we usually expect um, like a film or a book or something to reach a climax, so a dramatic point um, that ends the book. But if the, it is anticlimactic, what do you think that would mean? So anticlimactic. Um, so not to get louder. So the climax is the end point, so it all builds to the end point um, and is dramatic in the end, but what could anticlimactic mean? Yep, um, Mina, so we've got um, softer, yeah. So rather than building to a dramatic ending, uh, the ending might be less dramatic. Um, so if you've, I think some people have complained about, um, I think with the Avengers film recently, some people felt it, felt it was anticlimactic. Um, I thought it was fine, but the people expected a really huge ending. Um, and yes, really, thanks, it's called Endgame, the film. Um, so they tried to have a big climax because they brought all the characters in, had a big moment of drama, but some people still felt like it wasn't as much drama as they expected. Um, so that's often the case, especially when you have a long series or something, like with Harry Potter or something like that. People expect a big ending because they've been invested for so long and they were excited about it, but anticlimactic means like they were disappointed in the end. Um, so that word is featured in one of the activities, so I just wanted to make sure you knew what it meant. Um, so you can continue now with activity three, close test. I'm just going to write the definition of anticlimactic down for you so that you can write this word down with its definition on your piece of paper.
Okay, so when you've got your final answers on paper, you can put them into the third quiz with the same name, please. A lot of you are submitting your answers, which is fine, but you might want to reach the end of the task before submitting some of the answers because you may want to swap them around once you've seen all the questions. Um, and as you've got these words written on your sheets, please make sure you're spelling them properly. Words like beautify are written there for you, so copy the spelling carefully. Some of you still don't have your names in there, so please do. When you finish, please just wait a, a minute or two for um, everyone to catch up. And when you've finished, actually, you can write down anticlimactic, please. Make sure you're spelling those words properly or it's going to be marked wrong. Okay, so answers. Um, I'm not gonna get you to tell me the answers here actually because I can read the answers that you put in. So just listen and make sure you've got the correct answers written down. I don't want you to go away with incorrect answers written on your sheet of paper. So just make sure you've got that done. So my postman delivered the wrong letters to the house. So he had to come back to rectify his mistake. He needed to rectify his mistake. Now a few people put modify in there. Please keep your microphones off guys. Um, People put modify, remember modify means to change. So although he does need to change something because he's made a mistake, rather than just changing the letters, it would be best to just correct it and have everything right in the end. Okay, Miranda left a treat for her dog to pacify him when she left the house. So she wanted to calm her dog down, so a treat might calm down. Uh, satisfy, some of you put there. Um, yes, there's another sentence that satisfy works better in. Um, and also just one treat may not satisfy someone, they may not be full, um, which is usually what we use, um, what we would say if someone's satisfied they're full, um, but it may calm him down a little bit. Okay, um, the petrified child clung to her mother when she saw the spider. So petrified child clung to her mother when she saw the spider. Okay, Benjamin wasn't sure what to do next, so he asked his teacher to clarify her instructions. I'm actually going to put this on the board quickly. That would be a much better idea. Um, okay, so he asked the teacher to clarify her instructions, to make them clear. Oopsie. Okay, the council added trees and flowers to the park in an effort to beautify the area. Now all make sure you are. Microphones off please. Um, spelling beautify correctly. Um, we wouldn't want to pacify the area because the area doesn't have feelings. Um, and modify, I can see, was one of the incorrect answers there. Um, you are changing it, but more than changing it, you're trying to make it more beautiful. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so we won't unmute them um, when they have their hands up, by the way. Um, perhaps if you, instead of putting your hand up, can you just send Kai a message with what you want to say and then she can unmute you if you um, can say it to the group. Okay, after a lot of discussion, the family was finally able to solidify their holiday plans. So I would think it would be tempting to put Harden in that space. Was Harden an option? Yes, it was. Um, but solidify is usually, usually what we use for plans. So you're able to make them more concrete, you know exactly what you're doing rather than having just ideas in the air. So you've, you've gone from ideas to an actual plan and you've solidified it. Um, that was a tricky one. I think quite a few of you struggled with that. Um, and make sure you're spelling that correctly too. Okay, um, so I'm put clarify as well. We usually clarify an explanation and we solidify plans. Um, so they're, they're kind of similar, but we usually have that combination. Okay, um, I'll just go back. So question two was pacify and three was petrified and one was rectify. Rectify a mistake. Okay, my mum rewrote the recipe using easier words to simplify it for me. Simplify. The film's ending did not something fans. Many found it to be anticlimactic. Satisfy is what we would have there. And freshly cooked black ducks will harden as they cool. And children use the tree as a swing, which caused its branches to weaken. Okay, hopefully you've all got the answers for those. I'm gonna leave them up on the screen in case you need to copy um, the rest of them down. Now we are coming to the last 10 minutes or so of our session, but before we do, I would like you to come up with a few words, a few sentences where you're using these words and then we'll go through some examples. Um, I'm not going to give you long though, I'm going to give you three minutes, let's say. So three minutes, can you each choose three words to write the definitions of? So three words where I want you to write the definitions. I'm going to get you to write them in your, um, actually, let's get them in WooClap. I'll activate the quiz. So pick whichever three words you want and you can skip over the ones that you don't want to write the sentences for and then put them in WooClap so I can read them and then I'll read out some of the examples that work. Okay, so just three words, please. Or if you've finished the three words and you're confident those are great examples, then you can do some others. But for now, just pick three. Okay. I'm going to wait for you to put your sentences in WooClap. Three minutes. I'm going to pause the video here so anyone watching at home can just pause it and then resume when you're ready to continue. All right, and I will go through some of the example sentences that I had. Um, okay, so I think pretty much all of you got something down for rectify. Um, if you need an example to write down, I had, I did my best to rectify the situation, but the damage was done. Okay. Um, petrify. I cheated a little bit for this one, changed it to petrified. Um, so Alex tried hard to conceal how petrified he was. Um, okay, I'm just trying to show my screen again because it wasn't working. Okay, so that was rectify and petrify. Alex tried hard to conceal how petrified he was, and conceal means to hide. Okay, beautify. Um, Tanya had something for beautify. Looking after the, your plants in your garden can beautify it. Um, I had a couple of examples. Um, so I, I had written originally, the fresh daffodils did not beautify the dilapidated cottage. Um, and then I was reminded of a phrase um, or an idiom. So it's, someone might say, it's like putting lipstick on a pig. Um, there you go. 
putting lipstick on a pig. So this does not beautify the pig. It does not beautify the pig. Um, sometimes people will say, um, it's like putting lipstick on a pig when you've made a mess of a situation. Um, so for example, if you had a school project and, okay guys, don't need to react in the chat, thank you. Okay, um, if you had a school project and your work was a mess and maybe the pages were ripped um, and you'd rubbed some things out and maybe you'd spilt something on it and then you put it in a really nice ring binder then that would be like putting lipstick on a pig. Um, so you haven't, you've, it's a mess. There's no point. Putting lipstick on this pig does not make it any more beautiful. If anything, it probably makes it worse. Um, so there's no point in trying to make it nice now. So use that, beautify, you, that, you can use that to remember it. Remember the spelling, please. Okay, um, simplify. So if you need an example for beautify, putting lipstick on the pig did not beautify it. Okay, simplify. Um, let's agree to meet at the venue in order to simplify things, you may say. Guys, stop sending messages in the chat, please. You're distracting people. Okay, pacify. Um, I think I read out some of your pacify answers earlier. Um, Meaning we had Anita's aunt try to pacify the young girl. That's good. Um, I think some of you put the answers in the wrong sections here. Um, okay, I'm looking in the wrong sections. Um, but you can have, if you need an example to write down, the weary mother let her, the children stay up 15 minutes later just to pacify them. The weary mother let the children stay up 15 minutes later just to pacify them. So just to calm them down, just for an easier life. Okay. Um, clarify. Please, could you clarify how best to get in touch with you? I don't know if anyone used clarify. Okay, so um, yeah, far you had my mum clarified the instructions. Um, that we had my mum clarified. Yep, good. Um, modify. I modified my computer to increase its memory. Um, you could, this, uh, my, it's not showing up, darn it. I'm trying to show you a picture of a modified car. You shall see it in a second. A modified car. He modified his car so it looked like Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay, remember not to all send reactions in chats now, please. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so you can write down the sentences I'm giving you if you need to. Um, if you don't have an example, but you're going to have to try and be quick. Okay, so he modified the car to look like Thomas the Tank Engine. You could have that. Lola, I hope you're writing these down because you're sending messages. Okay, um, solidify. Um, you could solidify a decision. So I, after speaking to her, speaking to her helped to solidify my plans, you might say. Um, you could have an object that solidified. Um, we had Andina as the day went on, the cement would solidify. So good. So you might say, speaking to her helped to solidify my plans. Solidify. Okay, satisfy. The baker, the baker, sorry, worked all day but still couldn't make enough cakes to satisfy demand. The baker worked all day but still couldn't make enough cakes to satisfy demand. Okay, and lastly, purify. I boiled the water before drinking it in order to purify it. Okay, I boiled the water before drinking it in order to purify it. Can you write that down? Dylan, write them down, please. Okay. Right. Does anyone need me to repeat any of those? Tell me if you do. Can you tell me which word you need me to repeat the sentence for if you do need it, please? Just saying yes doesn't help. 
Okay, petrified. So we had Alex tried hard to conceal how petrified he was. And purify, I boiled the water before drinking it in order to purify it. Grace, a modify was the Thomas the Tank Engine one, so you can use modify in a sentence like that. So he modified the car to look like Thomas the Tank Engine or something like that. And rectify, um, I did my best to rectify the situation, but the damage was done. Okay, I'm going to stop there with the example sentences, but I will send um, the answers and the examples to your parents. Um, we are going to do another one of these sessions next week. And at the end of next week's session, I'm going to have a little competition online where you'll get points for matching up the definitions of the words that we have done today. So I'm not just going to include the ones that end with if I and stuff, I'm going to include other words like anticlimactic. So you need to have been listening carefully. All right, um, so try and revise some of these words, get someone to test, the, test you on them, use them in sentences, use them in conversation, so that hopefully next week when we do the quiz, you'll get lots of points in there. Okay, right everyone, I am going to sign off. I'm gonna stop my recording now, so bye for those that are watching the recording. Um,